Hi, Tim Shields again. Uh, in video one, I showed you the problem, which is ravens wiping out juvenile tortoises. Just to reiterate the point, here's another guy that just got shredded by uh, a raven. Uh, the odds of these little guys surviving is really low because of high raven populations. But we st I started to think a few years ago, and, and I've engaged a number of collaborators on this project, what if we could make a really accurate fake tortoise to lure ravens in. Well, several years later, we've got it. This is the techno tortoise. This is three. This is state-of-the-art 3D printing, uh, scanned by Autodesk Incorporated out of San Francisco. They've been really generous with their expertise and also with some cash support for the project, and printed by a company in Toronto, Canada called Think to Thing. Both of these companies are are uh, integral partners in this project. The first phase has been to create a really convincing fake tortoise and we're getting really close. So uh, th Autodesk 3D scans a real tortoise shell. They send that file to Think to Thing. Think to Thing's printers make this plastic um, uh, replica. I put uh, acrylic paint over the underlying color print that comes from thing to thing to ensure uh, light survive, survival in this harsh desert light. And we have used these things now to attract ravens in. We have had a proof of concept project which is ravens are interested in these little things. Phase two of the project is to teach ravens lessons and that's where we're headed right now. But I do want you to appreciate just how cool that is. And uh, have a look at his little legs in there. These things work like a champ. And they give us a chance to do some really interesting conservation work.